Zoop here and welcome back to another episode of Help and Ensign. This week we'll cover high explosive shells and armor piercing shells, what they do and when to use them. We briefly touched on AP shells when we learned about Citadel hits. Today we'll learn a little more about them and their HE counterparts. So what are the main differences between HE and AP? That's easy enough. HE shells are designed for explosive power while AP shells are designed to penetrate thick armor. Think of it this way. HE shells will explode on impact, causing massive damage to the superstructure of a ship. They work great against soft targets. That's basically everything above the hull of a ship. AP shells are designed to survive initial contact with the ship and drive through armor, exploding deep within the confines of the ship. That's simple enough to understand, but why would a skipper want to use anything other than AP? We covered Citadel hits, and you need AP for those. Citadel hits cause massive amounts of damage. Why not just use AP all the time? There are a number of factors that affect damage in-game. The two most prominent are the size of the shell and the thickness of a ship's armor. Other factors include the trajectory of the shell and angle of the ship's armor. These factors affect AP much more than they affect HE. There's less margin for error when using AP. In many ways, using AP is a gamble. You roll the dice hoping for a citadel hit. If you land one, you can watch the hit points shave off. If you miss though, you do very little damage. Also, over-penetration can occur, which I'll cover in just a minute. HE shells are perfect for those that don't like to gamble. The damage is going to always be somewhere between the minimums and maximums of AP rounds, though you'll never shave off as many hit points as a Citadel hit. Unless, of course, you land a magazine detonation. That's not to say you won't land a Citadel hit. They do happen from time to time, but this is more of an anomaly than a rule of thumb. HE is basically a safe bet. HE shells also have one major benefit, and that's the ability to start fires. These fires cause residual damage on their own, and are just as much a threat to a ship as the explosions the shells themselves cause. While AP can cause fire as well, it doesn't happen nearly as much. Aim plays a factor in shell choice as well. If you have good aim, you may wish to use AP more. However, if you feel your aim still needs work, HE is much more forgiving, and you can land shots nearly anywhere on the ship that'll cause moderate damage and fire. So where do you aim for each? In my Citadel video, I taught you to aim for the waterline with AP. That still remains in effect, as that's where you will find your Citadel. For HE though, you can be much more lax with your aim. In fact, aiming for the ship's bridge is perfectly fine. Try aiming midway up on the ship's hull. You can use HE from any distance as well. Plunging HE has virtually the same effect as HE shot with a flat trajectory. Every ship you play as and against requires a different strategy in how you use HE and AP. Let's quickly go through them. Destroyers carry AP, but I'm telling you not to bother using it if you're playing as one. 5-inch guns will do little to penetrate armor on larger cruisers and battleships. Your best bet is using HE in attempts to keep the enemy lit on fire. Conversely, if you're attacking a DD, never use AP. The reason for this is over-penetration, which I mentioned earlier. Look at this graphic for an example. This is what the flight path of an AP shell from a battleship or cruiser would look like during overpenetration. See that it passes right through the destroyer. The shell is just too large and the armor on the DD is just too thin. AP is designed to penetrate thick armor, stop, and explode within. This won't happen. Your AP shell flies right through and as a result damage is minimal. Instead, by using HE, your round will explode on contact, which is devastating for a DD. In fact, larger cruisers and battleships can possibly one-shot a destroyer with good enough aim and a bit of luck. Cruisers are a mixed bag and your choice of shell is tougher. The rule of thumb with them is to use HE against both destroyers and battleships. Again, the HE will light the battleships on fire. You might get lucky using AP against the battleship if your cruiser has a larger caliber, and you could land a citadel shot, but it's not worth the risk when they can have half your hit points in one salvo. Put it on fire and let them scramble to douse the flames. If you're a cruiser attacking another cruiser, use AP from 8 to 9 kilometers out. That gives that nice flat angle perfect for penetration and citadel hits. Further out, use HE. The benefit with cruisers is you can switch from AP to HE quickly if you need to. Lastly, we have battleships. If you're playing as one when the round starts, immediately switch to AP and don't bother switching back to HE. Seriously though, You've got the biggest shells in the game. You should always be going for the kill. No matter what, a 16-inch shell is going to cause massive damage even if you don't get a Citadel hit. 
The only exception to the rule is once again destroyers. If you must face one head to head and close in, use HE to take it out and to avoid overpenetration. So there you have it. Are these rules definitive? No. Other exceptions to the rule will occur. You'll get Citadel hits with HE every now and then. Don't use AP with the Atlanta, even though it's a cruiser because your guns are only 5 inches. Never get involved in a land war in Asia, and never go in against a Sicilian when death is on the line. The physics of the game can be baffling at times, but as ensigns, these are best practices. HE for soft targets like the bridge, and AP for thick armor. Hope you leave this video with a better grip on HE and AP. As time progresses and you get a better feel, you'll know what to use and when. In the meantime, stay tuned for more help and ensign. Thanks for watching. Zoop out.